Hello, so I want to talk about the three ways that you can use essential oils. So all of doTERRA's essential oils can be used aromatically and topically. So those are the first two that I'm going to talk about. So aromatically, a lot of us have either heard of or have a diffuser in our home right now. So it's basically like a little water reservoir that you can put water in and then you put your essential oils. That will diffuse those oils into the air. So that would be aromatically. You could also do a drop of oil in your hand and cuff it over your nose and inhale very deeply. So those that is one way that you can utilize the essential oils aromatically. So those, that's really great for emotional support. Um, it's also really great for purifying the air. I highly suggest that one. We always have something diffusing in all the rooms in our house. So the second way is topically. So topically is just like I said, um, or just how it sounds is putting it topically on your body. Now I recommend diluting all essential oils topically, just because you never know how your skin is going to react, if it's going to be sensitive. Some people's skin is more sensitive than others. Um, for a child or any um, anybody under the age of six, I would dilute it even further. So for my little ones, I always um, dilute very heavily because their bodies cannot metabolize is the same as ours. So dilution is very important. And you can dilute um, with any sort of carrier oil. We use fractionated coconut oil in our house, and you can get that off of Amazon. Um, it's just basically coconut oil that's in a liquid form. It's really nice because it's very light and it helps um, seal that oil into your skin and absorb it through your bloodstream. The best way to put um, oils on to absorb topically is on the bottoms of your feet. So that will help absorb into your bloodstream actually within 30 seconds and throughout your entire bloodstream within 20 minutes. So it's pretty awesome. Um, of course, if you have a headache or you're feeling neck pain, you're not going to put it on your feet. You could put it wherever you're feeling that pain. I always like to put them on my wrist and then I still inhale deeply and then I like to put some on my neck, usually for emotional support. Um, like if I'm feeling stressed or anxious, that's where I'll put my water oils. So the third way is internally. Now I would only ever suggest taking doTERRA essential oils internally because they actually have the word supplement on their bottles. So the FDA does not regulate perfumes or essential oils. So therefore, um, oil companies and perfumes are not allowed to put any sort of supplemental facts on their bottles. doTERRA took it a step further and they went and did some third party testing for the FDA so that they could put the word supplement on their bottles. So, and I also want to say not all doTERRA essential oils are allowed to be taken internally as a supplement. So I would um, just read the bottle. It says essential oil supplement. If it does, it's safe to take internally. So wild orange is one of my favorites. Lemon is another favorite. Um, peppermint can be taken internally. There are a ton. Um, but wild orange, I like to use this one a lot. A lot of people will hear me saying this because I put it in my water. So I think it's a really great way to really cleanse out your system, energize you. It gives you a way to flavor your water naturally so that you're able to get a little bit more water intake. Um, or you can also put them just directly under your tongue or you can put them in a veggie capsule. So that's another way that you don't really have to taste them because some people don't like the taste of the oils. You just put them in a veggie capsule, swallow them just like a, like a supplement that you would be taking. Um, so those are the three ways, and I always say if you're struggling with something, take it all three ways or whatever ways that you can take it. If you have um, seasonal allergies, I would do a roller bottle of lemon, peppermint, and lavender, and you're going to roll that on your, your neck, your feet, wherever um, you think that would help you best. I would also take those three essential oils internally. I'd put them in my water or maybe make a little capsule with that. Um, and I would also be diffusing them. So all three ways, that's going to really help support in your allergies during your allergy season. So I hope that helped and kind of clarify how to use essential oils. And I hope you have a great day.